Shalom. Shalom. I want to give all all glory and uh and praise to Yahweh, Bashem, ba Yahweh ba Shai, Bashem, ba Rakar, Kadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who teach lead and rule well. Honors and salutations to you, faithful Akim, pushing the word and truth sincerity across the four corners of the globe. This is the brother Yadai and the brother Arap from uh, the GMS Atlanta camp. We just want to do a quick uh, quick lesson on pretty much uh, being open to correction. You know, being open to correction because it's necessary. <clears throat> because, um, you know, one thing that, that men really have to realize is uh, the Most High, Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, He corrects us a lot of times through other men. You know, you can... You could, uh, you definitely can, 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 can learn and grow, you know, in the spirit by, you know, reading and, you know, watching videos and doing other things and being built up that way. But a lot of times, a lot, a lot of times, correction comes through other men, and really, it's a necessary part of your growth because you can't all even, even if you do a, a, a great, a, a very good job of, of, of self-examination, examine, examining yourself. There's a lot of times you can't see certain things, man. You know, you can't see certain things looking out of the house, but sometimes people can see things looking towards the house. Okay. And for that, you got to be open to correction, like I said, because it's necessary. So, you know, without further ado, we're going to get into the scripture. You got anything to add up? Uh, yeah, um, to add on to your point, most men take that uh, correction from men at face value, uh, not knowing that that could be, you know, how about Shimmy, how about speaking through that man to you. Come okay. You know, so if, if one of your fellow um, brethren come to you, you know, with correction, man, you need to uh, listen and take heed, okay? Because mm -hmm. cause that uh, correction or chastening could actually, you know, be the, um, what I want to say, it, it could actually save your life. Right. Or, uh, you know, so to speak. Right. All right. Kind of, yeah, because, you know, um, you know, Satan, he gonna, he gonna use... Any and every avenue to get to get to you, okay. you know what I'm saying. So it's very important to tell you heed when men come to you and you know whether it's correction. It might just be we won't get into. It might just be instruction. It might not even really necessarily be you going off. Right. It might be something that a brother sees that can just uh, you know give you a little jewel to help you just reach that next level. Right. You know, but if you if you have a closed ear or a closed mind, a closed heart, so to speak, you know that that could be a, a vital piece of information that even if you know that that correction uh, doesn't make you go all the way off. You know, as far as you know, turning it back to the Lord, it may be something that that saves you a lot of a lot of pain, man. You know, and, and uh, a, a a big setback. So you know, just just take heed to that. Yeah. So um, we're gonna get right into it. We're gonna pretty much be reading out of Proverbs. I'm gonna start off with Proverbs nine and nine. Give instruction to a wise man. And he will be yet wiser. Teach a just man, and he will increase in learning. And that's very important. It says, give instruction to a wise man, and he will be yet wiser. Because that's actually um, a sign of wisdom, man. It's a sign of wisdom for, you know, uh, for the, the spirit to use a brother to come up to you and, and tell you something, you know, that, that you can actually utilize in your walk. And what would a wise man do? A wise, a wise man is going to take heed to that counsel and understand that it's not just a man coming to you telling you something, you know, for, because he, you know, he just wants to get on you, you know. Nah, he's actually telling you that through the spirit. So you can actually incorporate that in your spirit that make you sharper, man. That's right. You know, and a lot of times, too, a lot of times correction might come, not necessarily for you always to hear. It might be. For, for other men to see, the spirit might be using you as, a, as, a, as an example to, to be um, solid or good, so to speak, in taking correction. Or in, in, on another man, you know, scripture speaks about uh, not being respectful of persons. Another man might see, man, you know, he fell short in this. I should have been helping him with that all, the whole time. Mm -hmm. And then through that process, you're going to get even more sharper by. Uh, Things being added to your spirit even more and more. But I'm going to uh, continue on that. It says, uh, teach a just man and he will increase in learning. So it's all part of the learning process, you know. And that's part of you being just, a part of you being uh, 
and upright Israelite man is being open to just hearing hearing your brother out. You know, it's a family affair. You know, we call each other, uh, you know, Akim because we're brothers. We're we're a family, and it, and and well, a good family member, a good brother, will always have their other family members or their other brothers' best interests in mind. Right. Yeah, that's true. You ain't think that? No, I was just agreeing. That that's that's right on point. Kind, kind. Uh, Proverbs nine and ten: The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, and knowledge of the holy is understanding. And the knowledge of the holy is understanding. And that's um, that that is just, like I say, it's a it's a process. You know, it says um, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, because if. Uh, me personally, if a, if a brother comes up to me and tells me something, so I'm gonna listen because I fear the Lord. Right. Because he's telling me that so I could sharpen that area or aspect up, so to speak, so I don't fall, you know, in a in a trap or a snare. And ultimately, if I fall in a trap or a snare, I go off. It's the Most High. How about you? How was shot? That's bringing that judgment on me. Right. And you always want to try your best to avoid the judgment of Yahweh by Shimmy How So if you do get judgment. You want to be a positive judgment. You know right. what I'm saying? You want, you want, well, you really, in essence, it will be uh, a reward, so to speak, because you are doing the right thing and you stand in the spirit. Now, it's going to be certain times, even if you're doing a good job and, and uh, being holy and being just, that sometimes the most high do what he got to do to, 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 to test you and try you, you know, in his own understanding, you know, um, his, his, his ways are higher than our ways, his understanding is higher than our understanding, you know, so it, it does happen like that sometimes. But ultimately, like I said, it's through the fear of the Lord that you should really take heed to your brothers when they come in and, and tell you about yourself, man. You know? Especially if you feel like that man is actually a man of the Lord. Because like he's saying, uh, that could be, you know, how about Shimei Osha speaking through that man. Con, con. And, um, and the knowledge of the holy is understanding. Because... The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, but then you have knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, you know? So that understanding is gonna really seep into you, into your spirit, man, to where you really understand, man, the most I did this, did that, you know, you're able to kind of replay a situation back, and you you have a, a higher level of understanding of, of what the most high is trying to reveal to you through the spirit. Okay. Um, so if never gonna go into Proverbs 15, but um, read 15 and verse 14. You can break it down. Huh? Okay. Uh, Proverbs 15 and 14. The heart of him that hath understanding seeketh knowledge. Okay. And that word uh, heart goes back to uh, la la mm -hmm. uh, which means your mind. Okay. Uh, read read that from the top again. Okay. Huh? Proverbs 15 and 14. The heart of him that have understanding seek of knowledge. Right. So if you have understanding in your mind uh, and you want to gain knowledge, you'll seek it. Okay? Go ahead. Come on. Come on. I'm going to add to your point real Go quick. Ahead. And what's the main way you seek knowledge? You seek knowledge by reading and hearing the word. Right. You know, uh, and that knowledge, when the Most High puts uh, those, trials, those trials on you, it's convert your experiences to understanding. You, know, you can't have you can't have understanding just like if you have um, an equation, so to speak. You can't understand how to manipulate the the factors in an equation if you don't have a knowledge of the components of that equation. So, uh, you know, like, like, uh, like scriptures say, the heart of him that hath understanding seek of knowledge. Right. So, a, a major component, well, the, the main component to seeking to to seeking knowledge is to actively read. But we'll continue in that verse out. Mm -hmm. um, right. But the mouth of fools feedeth on foolishness. Right. And, and they say feedeth, that means you thrive off foolishness. The mouth of fools uh, thrives on foolishness. That means, you know, as long as a brother or, you know, somebody in the world coming to you and feeding you bullshit, uh, you'll take it. You'll, you'll value that more. Um, over a brother that's actually telling you righteous deeds mm -hmm. than you do uh, a brother that's, you know, trying to get you right through the spirit of your house by shot. That's why I say uh, 
but the mouth of fools feedeth on foolishness. Okay? Nah, nah. I'm gonna go to the I'm gonna go down one more, one more verse. Okay, I'm gonna skip down to verse uh, 16. Better is little with the fear of the Lord than great treasure and trouble therewith. So it's better, man. It's better to have, you know, a little bit and have that fear of the Lord. You know, it speaks about uh, the fear of the Lord is, is the most highest treasure. You know, better is to have little with the fear of the Lord than great treasure and trouble therewith than to have an abundance. And, and you're not, you don't know how, you don't have the wisdom and understanding to, to know how to deal with that. Because really, um, not being content in your state whether it's a lowly state, whether it's a man trying to tell you about yourself so you can really see what's going on with yourself, it's pride, okay. you know. I got something real quick. Uh, okay. This is uh, Proverbs 15 and 10. Correction is grievous unto him that forsaketh the way, and he that hateth reproof shall die. Break it down, huh? Uh, basically, that scripture right there pretty much self-explanatory. You know, correction is grievous. That word mean grievous, uh, basically means uh, a burden or you know it's it's, it's harsh. Mm -hmm. So correction is grievous unto him that forsake the weight. And what's the weight? The knowledge and understanding of these scriptures. Right. The way of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Mm -hmm. uh, and he that hateth reproof shall die. So like I said earlier, that 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 message that the brother is trying to get to you could very well save your life. Uh huh. Uh, Cause like I said, that could be you know the most high speaking through that man. So don't take that as face value. Mm -hmm. All right. Kind, kind. You. Uh, we want to skip down to Proverbs 16, and we're gonna start from. We're gonna read 16 verses 19 and 20. <sighs> I'll be here for you. Kind. Uh, this is Proverbs chapter 16 verse 19. Better is it to be of an humble spirit with the lowly mm -hmm. than to divide the spoil with the pride. See, with that's the proud. Salah. Kind, now you good. And that's the importance of humility. You know, it's uh, it's just it's 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 important to stay humble, man. Yeah. And to always like going back to the topic, you know, be open to correction because it's necessary. Because like we said earlier, you can't always see everything, you know. And, and really, we're all watchmen. Like even like a brother brought out a camp, brother uh, Abba Baja brought out a camp. As a watchman, you gotta watch everything, man. You watching what's going on in the world, in America, yeah. in the state, you know, in your, in your own little municipality, with yourself, yeah. with your family, with your friends, with your coworkers, and with the brothers. Yeah. You know, you watching all that. You know, so that's why it says better it is to be of a humble spirit with the lowly. So no matter what your state is, no matter no matter what your state is, it's better. It's always better to stay humble, you know, and and be content in a situation. And part sometimes part of your situation is you got to get God on, man. <laughs> that's just that's just what it is. Uh, continue. Uh, verse twenty. He that handled a matter wisely shall find good. Shall so find good. So. You gotta utilize wisdom, man. You gotta use utilize wisdom. And the biggest part, the biggest aspect of wisdom that I could that I could, could could convey is just to listen. Right. Just to listen. Now you might have a little something to say to maybe explain the situation, but you shouldn't be trying to get out of that situation. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean you might say, you know, Slaki, you know, you know, this happened, that happened, that happened. Just to kind of uh, communicate the situation because even by that by you being open to that correction and you kind of communicating the situation you might have a more experienced brother kind of give you tips and pointers on how to deal with what you're dealing with so it's not it's not necessarily evil to or, or you're not necessarily going off to kind of explain the situation as long as you're in the right spirit because through that the spirit might give you certain tips and how to you know deal with certain things that men have already gone through before but don't be trying to wiggle out of it and trying to, you know, just trying to, uh, you know, uh, shake them lashes, man. Yeah. <laughs> hey, especially if it's uh, 
one or more brother is more than one coming to you with it, man. The spirit's against you. You okay. might want to listen. Right. 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 And you, you, no, you definitely want to you listen. You definitely, not my <laughs> ego. Uh, <laughs> you definitely want to listen. Kind, kind. Uh, to finish up 20, uh, and whoso trusted, trusteth in the Lord, happy is he. Happy is he, man. You got to trust in the Lord. You got to trust that the, that the spirit is working through men to reveal to you certain things to make you better. Right. You know? So, and it might be even a situation where you might not even be fully going off. But the spirit is getting on you just, just to toughen you up. Right. And, and it, let's be honest, man. It, it don't feel good. Right. You know, getting, getting um, told about yourself, it don't feel good. And really, it's not supposed to. It's like, it's like a growing pain. You know, you lift weights and your muscles are all sore. But you know, as you continue to work, you can you can lift more and more weight. You become stronger and stronger. Those muscles uh, are broken to repair to be stronger. Built up. Right. Yeah. And at the end of the day, as long if you take heed to correction coming from the you know the, the men around you, you're gonna be happy because right. you gotta trust and believe that the spirit of your how about shimmy how shot is working in those men. Okay. I got something real quick. Okay. Uh This is Proverbs 27 and five. Open rebuke is better than secret love. Mm -hmm. Now you should be, you should want to be around men that call you out when you're going off. Right. Because if they don't, that mean that man don't give a, don't don't care about you. He don't love you. He don't love you. The 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 best way to show somebody that you love them is to correct them. Right. Uh, Slack you. Go ahead. Because ultimately, he's correcting you. Why? So you can become more pure. So you can. Hopefully attain salvation. It's, it's all about salvation. Exactly. It's, it's all these components add up to one thing: being saved on the, in the in the coming destruction of this of this wicked kingdom. Kind. And, and you know, like say for instance, you got a child and you see him going off, and you see him, he headed down the wrong path. You gonna you gonna whoop his ass and you gonna chasten him because you love him and you don't want to see him, you know, going down that path. Mm -hmm. And that's the same thing with this truth. If you consider somebody or or brother or your brother, you gotta correct them. Mm -hmm. Now that's open. That says open rebuke. Now don't go behind his back and be telling the next brother. You gotta go directly to that brother and tell him where he going off. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Uh, yeah, we go ahead and finish out. I know this battery. Second for the hop in this battery, man. I already know. <laughs> you want to pull one more? Uh, you can read uh, 28, uh, 28 and 20, 28, uh, 25, and 26. All right. This is Proverbs chapter 28, verse 25. He that is of a proud heart stirred up strife. And that's, and that's self-explanatory. Yeah. Because you got to understand, uh, just like it speaks about in Ephesians, we all one body, man. Yeah. You know? And, and in this body, this house of David that's being rebuilt, there's no room for pride. You know? So when the scriptures speak about he that is of a proud heart, stir up strife, that's because you, you're really going against the spirit of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah. You think about the, the model that Yahweh Shah laid forth when he walked this earth. He wasn't proud, man. You know, and 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 truth be told, if if there was one man who walked earth that could that could and had the right to be proud, it was Yahweh Shai. Right. But he did what? He humbled himself down. He became a servant and a minister to the men and the people around him, to the point he even washed the feet of the disciples. That's a great point. Huh? That's that's beautiful. Go ahead. Uh, continue. Uh, but he that put of his trust. And the Lord shall be made fat. Con, and this isn't, this isn't a, uh, you know, the, the the doctrine that's put forth by the apostles. That was a great millstone. This isn't, this isn't a prosperity doctrine. Man. This isn't Christianity. No. So when you read these scriptures, yeah, yeah, the Most High's gonna bless you with certain things in this world. You know, it, that's gonna happen. You know, if it's His will. But it's not about earthly riches. That's about being made fat in the spirit, man. That's right. You growing in the spirit, and you have a you have a, a higher level of understanding of the true mindset and mentality of the heavenly Father through the the only begotten Son. Then that's how you made fat, man. You made fat with them, with that with that spiritual increase, and that's really should be your main goal. Your main goal should be uh, being built up in the spirit with faith, 
good works, brotherly love, and 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 uh, ultimately proving yourself wor uh, proving yourself worthy through your works to attain salvation. But that's how you made fat. Okay. Uh, continue. Verse twenty six. He that trust trusteth in his own heart is a fool. Because you you can't trust in your own heart. Because one, you gotta understand the situation that we put we placed in. Look at our nation, man. Look at the the, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. What the fuck? Excuse my language. What the fuck you got to be proud of, man? <laughs> right. Look at look at the condition of our people, and this is also a part of uh, breaking that mentality of pride. Because even let's say you have a let's say you have a house, and you have a you know a, a couple nice cars, you know you got a, a, a good paying job so to speak, your family well off. Well, fuck that, man. What about your people? Right. So even so, even if you are doing good in the world sense, so to speak, you shouldn't even be thinking that way. Back back to uh, what's spoken of in the features. We're one body, man. We're one body through Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Okay. Um. Okay. So you can't you can't trust you can't trust in your own thoughts, your own ways, you know, your own way of living, the things you have in this world, because that ultimately, even if you have certain things in this in this wicked kingdom, it's nothing compared to what we're gonna have as a people. Um, when the kingdom of heaven is established on earth, right? But whoso, but whoso walketh wisely, he shall be delivered. Walk wisely, man. And walking wisely, you think about if I'm if I'm walking, if I'm actually physically moving, I'm going somewhere. That's a motion. It's a continual process. So you got to continue in your wisdom, continue in your growth. You know, continue in being built up in the spirit. And that's why it's so important to take heed to correction, man. Because that, that's going to be a critical component in that. Because once again, um, in those shortcomings and, and you not being able to see certain things, the Spirit's going to use other men to help you walk in greater wisdom. That's right. You know, and um, and it says, uh, Bible Sharp, uh, read that again. Uh, 26. You can read the whole, whole verse. Okay. Uh, this is Proverbs 28 and 26. He that trusteth in his own heart is a fool, mm -hmm. but whoso walketh wisely, he shall be delivered. He shall be delivered. Delivered from what? Delivered from this terrible time that's getting ready to hit hit our people, man. Jacob's trouble. Where you going? You going? It's going to be blood in the street to the horse's bridle. Mm -hmm. You're going to have death at, at every at every corner. You're going to be smelling rotten flesh. You know, you're gonna be seeing dead bodies. You're gonna see people eating other people. You're gonna be see. It's gonna be no. It's gonna be no foliage on on the trees on the ground. People uh, killing, rape. You know, from that you're gonna be delivered. Mm -hmm. And you gotta you gotta keep that in your mind, man. You know when when the spirit is trying to trying to put his hands on you to to get you to understand certain things. You gotta. Fight them demons off to understand that, hey man, fuck, fuck with this demon trying to you know do and manipulate my spirit. Fuck that man. I want salvation, man. I want to be delivered from the from the worst times ever going to be on this earth. You gotta keep that in mind, man, because it's 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 vitally important. Vitally, you know, pertaining to your life, it's literally vitally important to take heed and grow as much as possible in the in the wisdom, knowledge, understanding, and the spirit and uh. In, in, in the faith of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. That's what it's all about, man. It's all about growing and being built up as best as possible so that you can attain salvation. And I, I, once again, to, to close the loop on, on this whole message, a big part that's going to come through other men, man. But in, but the, uh, a big um, component about that you got to understand is how are you going to take it? How are you reacting? Are you listening? Are you fighting it? Are you trying to avoid it? Are you incorporating it once it's brought to your brought to your attention? Or are you just, yeah, I'll listen, but man, man, fuck that, man. I, I'm good. Right. All right, man. Pride come, pride come before destruction. That's right. Anything else to add up? That's pretty much it. Huh? Kind, kind. Well, um, with that, we'll end all by saying, uh, by giving all praises to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Once again, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who teach, lead, and rule well. Honors and citations to you faithful, I can push in that word and truth to city across the four corners. 
Global and you were edified. Till next time, Shalom. Shalom.